Look who I found. But he's smoking again. He and Quinn. Look who you found. He surprised you. And not All right. Well, look who found me. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> And now we're going three to, days ago. We're going to have Chance's first Cracker Barrel experience. Are you excited? I'll be a real Southern. <laughs> oh my god. Intense game of checkers. Beads of sweat are forming. And Chance is tendering. Family reunion. Family reunion. Oh, and new members. If they want to, if they want to be in. Okay. Let's see that hug action. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> it's only been 400 miles. Here's Chance's trick. If he ever goes on Miss America, this will be his trick. Oh, what a clean shape. Oh! <laughs> it takes longer to fall out now than it's yeah, longer. Yeah. <laughs> this time in the big metropolis of Waynesboro, Virginia. This is the metropolis? Yeah. These nice folks just picked us up and are taking us to the outfitter. Okay, so I'm sitting here thinking that now that it's hot enough, I may go ahead and send my sleeping bag home, which is. Do it right there, and I think I've got everything that can fit inside, so I can take this brain off and send it home too. Um, what I'm going to replace my sleeping bag with is these fleece blankets that they have here at this outfitter in Waynesboro. Okay, so the sleeping bag is two pounds five ounces. Sleeping bag one pound three ounces, so that's saving one pound and two ounces already. So the brain weighs six ounces, so that's saving me one pound eight ounces if I swap to that fleece sleeping bag over my current 23 degree bag. Pretty sure it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Pun intended. I first started my pack weighed about 37 pounds with a full resupply and two liters of water to be fair. But now with one liter of water, well a little over a liter, and a four day resupply of food, I am at 28 pounds, 12 ounces. Also, we are officially in Shenandoah National Park. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Shenandoah. Don't say that ugliness, Chance. He's been saying the RT word phrase. Always Because uh, there's a birthday in the house. Pretty sure I can play it. So we can figure it out. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I hit it right. Oh my god. <laughs> look at there. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's rolling. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> Any cupcakes? Yep, well, they have been packed out all, all day. Yes, yes. Definitely not you all should. Of it. All right, so on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vega. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yay! Hey, little dude. What's up, man? I ain't scared. Can you see him sniff? Can you smell him? Do we smell good? You're so cute. He's hanging out. 
feel alright if I walk. I'm going this way. You do your thing. Look <laughs> how small the antlers are. They're so small. Ah! So Riga decided to. <laughs> Wait, don't mount, don't pull him. Alright, so Riga decided to oh hold the snake. God, he's, no, he's oh never gonna come out. He is. He's trying to find out how to come out. Just give him a minute. There he goes. He's trying. Oh my gosh. This is Adventures of the AT when a little ringneck snake ends up in Where is he gonna go? He's gonna come out. He's is he gonna, gonna head north or south? I don't know. Riga? I just wanted to pick him up. Oh, I think he must. Oh. Well, I mean, he's currently doing a lot of stuff. Probably need a belly button. <laughs> so there's Mr. Snake. Oh, God. he's All right. So our current plan is, if he doesn't come out, is to wait till we get to camp, which is a couple of miles. We're just going to tuck the snake with her. And uh, then, to like three miles yeah, the and then we're gonna get her out of her pack. So, <laughs> happy birthday, Riga! <laughs> I was just trying to show him the snake. <laughs> we're gonna make a how to hike with a snake. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna. Pretty view. Heading to the campground tonight. Gonna eat at the wayside restaurant. I reckon it's called. Here at the Loft Mountain Camp Store. It's stuff for Riga's birthday. They've got wine, frozen burgers. We're gonna camp at the campgrounds and cook for Riga a little birthday meal. Riga, are you having a good birthday? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> First and s'mores. Yeah. No, we're some marshmallows. Double I'm gonna try a banana s'more. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Precious little babies and mama. Oh, look at that. Trying to hang it up. Skyland Resort eating our lunch out front so that we don't buy too much inside. <laughs> Being good, Hickers. Yeah, and Yogi. We're hoping one of these fine folks would like to buy some. Yeah. You know this you're... guy was cleaning his fingernails with a spoon at the table last night while talking about <laughs> wanting taking, a chicken tender that someone take, left. <laughs> taking a chicken dinner and some coleslaw. <laughs> that was untouched. That's after he had eaten his second meal. Yeah, after his second meal. Yeah, that that is hiker hunger right there. <laughs> but yeah, the Shenandoah National Park has been I'm awesome because like every minimum or at most 20 down. miles you get a place where you can go eat. So it's it's kind of a trap. Yeah, I have one. Pretty view. Is that another turkey vulture, Riga? Yeah. I wouldn't recognize it from the below. I always yeah. memorize it from the top. <laughs> We're looking up like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. know what an How to unsafely start damp wood burning. It's effective. <laughs> it but is effective, but unsafe. Works, it works. <laughs> so this is a town that we don't know what it is. Extra breezy night and we're all standing up here on a vista looking out and it is so pretty. So this is a viewpoint, head to the top of Mount Marshall. Beautiful sunset today. One of the last days we'll be in the Shenandoah National Park. Heading into uh, Front Royal tomorrow. We have thoroughly enjoyed the Shenandoahs and getting spooled with hamburgers every day. Okay, so we have all you can eat taco night and Zip is eating too. Yeah, two. Two? Okay. Uh, and these fellas down here have had two of these, so, so we're going to see who eats the most tacos. All you can eat is taco night. And so what should be our signal for more tacos? What town are we in? What was that? What should Pearl be our Royal. signal for Pearl more tacos? Pearl Royal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're yeah. out? I'm out. Yeah, two. How many? Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half chance? How many? Okay, so far, three on the way. How many? Eight so far, three on the way. Eight so far, three on the way. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. You had one? And a quesadilla. Oh, are you, are you competing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You ready to warm that room up? <laughs> and we have a winner! How many did you total out with in the Clean Plate Club? Eleven. Eleven? And that's after eating a large cob salad. And two whiskeys and a large glass of water. And to rice. Do a mix. And beans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yay! I am 
here at Amicalola uh, State Park and I am about to hike the approach trail. So we just caught this crow dad and his snack. Kirk would eat them raw and gave him something to pinch just to see if he really would and he really